afternoon. Welcome to Working Horses with Jim. Hi, everybody. What are you up to today, Jim? I'm going to go spread a couple loads of manure. Um, we've got some, a couple of steers going to the butcher this week, and Brenda will show you them in a minute. But because of that, we quite often will load right here. So I got a few loads of manure down in the back here. I got to get cleaned out. So I'll get that cleaned out today. I want to go get a load of, I mean, get a round bale. I think I'm just going to um, drag that up the road and I'll show you how I do that. But uh, we'll get loaded up and spread a load of manure first. Just a, a side note. I think I've, um, I don't, re I don't remember when I hitched up Bill last. Um, this is very unusual for me. Of course, I was sick for a little bit, but um, there, there are times and stretches where we go without working all of the horses a lot. And since I have two teams, I, I'm not really busy. I'm, I just don't have a need for both teams. So um, Bill it has been quite a long time since I pitched him up. Yeah, you used Lady and Ken to. Uh, what did you do with them? Mo? Did something? Yeah, oh, pastures, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Mo pastures. I can't even really remember. Yeah. But still, for both of them, it, it's been quite a while. Lady and Bill were outside this morning. Jim said they probably wonder why they they came barreling into the barn when he called them. Um, but um, they um, probably were wondering what he wanted. But anyways, Lady apparently in her running got all wet here. I brushed her, but I didn't see she had all that on her. While go Jim's, show, yeah, show two steers. yeah. While Jim's getting hooked up here, I will show you the steers that are going to the butcher in a couple days. You want to get out and be with the other ones. I don't know. I hope you can see because it's dark in here, but they look like they're in pretty good shape. It's kind of a dreary afternoon. We haven't had much sunshine in a couple days, and they are calling for a little sunshine. Yeah. But, anyways, we'll get going. I know. Yeah, back in there. like they want to get a move on today. Okay, I don't use my spreader every day, so um, I was having little troubles here, and this arm right here, which goes, is supposed to go back and forth, and it hits this sprocket here, this notched sprocket with these dogs. There's one dog here and one dog here. And it will, as it goes back and forth, it will turn 
the what we call the apron under in in the spreader to bring the manure back here to hit the beaters to throw it all out there. So this arm, as you can see, like I said, it's at this at the the sprocket right here. But then for it to push, it it rolls along this rounded cam. I'm not exactly sure what you would call it, but. As you can see, there's a roller on the end of that arm and it will roll up and over that and which in turn pushes, there's your roll right there, pushes this arm back and forth. And that pushes this sprocket, which in turn moves the apron. So now that we may have it fixed, it just kind of stuck there. Um, and uh, hopefully now it will work, we'll see. Out of the way. Maybe show the apron there as it's turning. Jim's invited me to sit with him. Press that. And he said to show the apron is moving. the spreader and moves everything back like a little assembly line. It's actually kind of fun to watch. for people. What is it? Look at my evener and ask them if they know what I did wrong when I hit them up. Jim is wondering from you viewers out there if you know what he did wrong when he hitched these horses up as you look at the evener. Do you, do you know? Apparently you don't. No, I don't know. Oh, I think I might have an idea. Oh, I know. I know. Don't say it. Tell them if they know, put it in the comments below. If you know, put it in the comments below. And we've got a clean spread up. You can see that apron running there. And this might be a dumb question, oh. but why are there two of those things? One's for, this, for the apron and one's for the beater. Oh. Half step. I did not know that. These guys are feeling good today. So we're going to go down and get that round bale way down at the lower farm. Jim's um, just got the chain on here and I think you already told him you're going to just drag it home, right? And you've got a few things to say about that when we get hooked up. Okie dokie. You can see the geese up there. We've had geese going by all day. 
getting ready for their trip south. The cattle are down here resting. They seem to be completely content. really have plenty to eat already, but you think they're gonna like that bale? When you... Um, yeah, they will. Uh, I've been feeding them a bale now and then. This is, this hay that we would get is actually last year's hay, wrap, round bales. Um, it was second cutting. It was very good quality at the time. Now it's getting to the point where it's not so good. Um, but they still, being beef cows, they still eat it right down. And being something new, it just seems like they always like to have something new in their diet. And uh, so they go right at it. Yeah. Now, these cows, I'm not going to feed them down here because I will, I want to continue keeping them, bringing them up by the barn. So any hay that I feed will, or at least most of it, will be up by the barn. So they'll get used to coming close to the barn so I can catch them and do the work to them that I need to do. Oh, it's so funny over there, in that way. Okay, here's a field off to our right that should have been cut quite a while ago. Um, as you can see, the clover has actually gone by but there's a lot of really good grass in this field. And uh, if I had beautiful weather, I would I would go right out and cut it for hay. But I also have the option to put a fence around it. And so that's what I might do. And even though the clover has gone by, there's a lot of really good grasses in there for the cattle to, to eat. Yeah, I would love that. It extends my, my uh, pasture season considerably by, by holding a field like this. I might might be the first of December before I put a fence around it. And then they're gonna have some beautiful feed the first of December to, to, to eat. Cuts down on feeding hay. And then that's more of the hay that we are we can sell too. So. Is it on? Our neighbors have been harvesting pumpkins and there's still a lot out there. Lot to go. And we've got round bales here and Jim placed them beside the roadway so they're easy. You won't have to trample all the field down to get those later on, which I thought was a good idea. Well, they're all sold. I'm waiting for the guy with his truck and trailer to come pick them up. Oh, well, at least they're, but they're right by the roadway through the field so they don't pack everything down so much. I think that's smart. And our neighbors have some new additions over here, some sheep. Okay. So this lower farm here, what we call lower farm, um, still needs to be cut. And uh, we have actually made a, an agreement with our neighbor and he's going to round bail and wrap it all. And he's going to do all the work. It seems like the last couple of years, I haven't been able to do all the work myself because we haven't had the help here. But oh, look at Lady. She's scared of the... She doesn't know what sheep are. Oh. This is a surprise because I didn't expect these two would be frightened of anything. Oh, Lady. Oh, oh. But yeah, as Brent says, Andy, our neighbor, has new sheep. Happily. <laughs> that is a surprise to me to have her sleep like that. Lady, get up there. Get up there. Gee, unbelievable. Of all the things she's seen and everything, she scared a little sheep. Huh. And then she went right over towards them. That kind of shows that you just never know what can happen with horses, right? Yeah. Old horse that should be used to anything. Still freaks out. And she doesn't usually freak out over anything. She's yeah. That is really funny. Well, we hope this video isn't too dark. It's a very overcast day, um, but 
it is what it is. I'm enjoying the ride anyways. <laughs> Something nice about, of course, I'm not doing any of the work. I'm not driving, but just the slow pace of riding down the road with the horses is always enjoyable. We hope to take you on some fall foliage up into the woods adventures too later on. There's the uh, wrapped round bales we're going towards. These bales uh, don't smell very good and you wouldn't think the cows would like them, but they they eat them right up, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Oh. kind of funny. Okay, there's numerous ways to do this. I do it a bunch of different ways. Um, and I've actually had videos on a couple different ways that I've done this. But today, I am just gonna throw a chain around it and just drag it right up the road. And uh, um, it's amazing how well it generally stays together. It should be fine. Um, the only thing I've gotta be concerned with is making sure that the chain is not dragging on the blacktop. Um, because these are good hardened logging chains, but it's amazing if they're dragged underneath something on blacktop, it'll it'll wear them right down to, to nothing. So I have to be careful of that. Just hold that. That slid down, I think. Come hold this. Put pressure on. Give me a little more. All right, then I'll pull it. It's not tight, tight, but I guess you can tighten it up. do you think this is for them? They're feeling so good. They could go slower if they wanted to. Let's go 
gotta be a little bit hard dragging all that weight. No big deal. You're getting a little hot under the collar, not too bad. So Jim was curious earlier whether the cows would know what was going by him and whether they would start to follow because I was laughing earlier. He brought some round bales over with the skid steer and as soon as they heard the skid steer and saw the bale, they'd start mooing and following, but they don't seem to be paying attention today. I just took the chain off. Um, might be tomorrow before I actually take this out and put it into the into the pasture. So for now, I'm gonna go back and spread a couple more loads of manure. Cut that. One. Oh. Uh. 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 